And we're live. Hello world. Uh, it seems that we're live. Let me just uh, check this. <coughs> we should be live. Well, it says we're live, but... Yep, we're live. The internet. Awesome. Okay. So it works. Uh, let me close the all the unnecessary stuff. Oh, that's cool. Okay, done. So, uh, purpose of this video is to have some initial planning of uh, what we will demo at UOS uh, related to Plasma 5. First of all, uh, hello Aaron. Hello. Uh, can you tell us a few things? Uh, mostly, okay, to whoever is listening and uh, or watching, and to explain to myself as well, to me, uh, what exactly is UOS, first of all? Uh, UOS is designed to replace the developers, the Ubuntu developer summit, because it got really, really big and they got really more expensive to manage it. Plus, this, this way more people can come along if they don't have money for passports and plane rides and everything. And the UOS stands for Ubuntu Online Summit, I think? Yeah. Awesome. Uh, so everything will take place online. There's no traveling involved in this. Yep. OK. Uh, so recently we have been approached by uh, let me read yeah. this by Nick uh, Nicholas Skaggs, I think AKA so. balloons on IRC. Balloons. Uh, yeah, he approached us on Kubuntu Devel and he asked us uh, if we want to make a presentation about uh, Plasma Five and uh, KD Frameworks Five at uh, UOS, which will take place uh, on the f between the 5th of May and the 7th of May 2015. Uh, so, our initial plan was so that me and uh, Aaron will have a, have a meeting like this one and uh, discuss what we want to present. And, uh, some, and uh, Rick also uh, decided that he wanted to join in. But uh, currently he's being withheld with something and he can't join this uh, meeting. So, let's begin with this. So, uh, we will just have a normal presentation like uh, something we can make an impress or something. Something, something, something. Something in WordPress? Uh, impress, LibreOffice Impress, I mean. Oh. A presentation. Oh. Yeah. Uh, uh, so, since this is my first uh, UOS and uh, I don't know exactly what I have to plan for this, can you please clarify a few things for me? It's my third one. I think this will be my third one. Oh, so you have some experience. Yeah, it's basically well, like what we're doing right now with Google Hangouts. Except they're going to also have IRC chat rooms for people who prefer not to do video or can't. <clears throat> and also we're going to have the share screening possibility like we have now. Yay. So we could just do, we could do a video with Katie in live or probably be easier with the video screen sharing technology to use just like a liberal office writer or a little slideshow and presentation. <laughs> Mm, I, I would like to maybe have something like uh, show in one corner, show uh, the presentation, and on the other, so, uh, no, uh, in the small corner, show the speaker, uh, like a rectangle, and the big screen should show either the presentation or a screencast or something to do the actual presentation of Plasma 5. I have no idea if Hangouts can do that. I imagine they might. I don't know if Hangouts can do that, but uh, we'll, we should find out until then. 
I see that has some yeah. cameraman options, but uh, I'm not sure exactly what this does. So I'm not going to tinker with this while we're live. Yeah. Okay, uh, so basically what we want to do is just uh, make a presentation and show people how Plasma 5 is and why is it so awesome. Uh, okay, we should have a script for this. You said something about uh, Doodle? Do yeah, I, I don't know if I can link it while it's still being worked on. Uh, is it public? Oh, I have the date. I have all three dates set up on here. Then there's like three different times for each date that we can set, and then we vote on it. Uh, okay, but have you published it yet, or? Um, I have to. I think I have to put the times for I can publish it, and then people vote. Okay, then I'll just wait until you do that. You want me to just put some generic times like? You can, you can edit area. it. You can edit it later and add more times. I just put two thirty, or do I? Hmm. <clears throat> I think for for now you can just put some random times. Uh, we can. No, I'm thinking. Do I, do I put it in military time or do I just put it in standard time? I think military would be better. Military, as in. Uh, oh, it left the. I put millet twenty one thirty and it converted to nine thirty. Oh. Uh, you can put any time as far as I know in there, and uh, Doodle will convert for each person. Um, they can choose their time can zone I, and. Can I share this link? Is this link still working? Uh, you can send it on IRC or. Yeah, the link that the last link you sent me is good, right? About uh, the Hangouts or. Yeah, the live one. Yeah, you're in it right now. Yeah, so it's still good to send, right? As Michael Hall said, he's available right now. Oh, and he wants to join this? I asked if he was available. And yeah, he said, yeah, sure, sure. Because then he'll have more detail. But, uh, is he aware that he's going to be live? Oh, well, hold up. He, he should know I mean, this before joining. Well, he's been in a few live, but I, I'll, I just message him. He'll be live. I don't know why that converted to 9.30. Uh, I'll, I'll tell him right now. 23, we'll just do like every three hours for right now. So 25, wait, that, there's no 25, hold up, crap. Uh, 24, yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'll just do that for right now. Basic poll. Everyone only invited people can participate. Oh, yeah, he he wants to relocate because he's live right now. So we'll give him a couple of minutes. Okay. Uh, did you send him the link? Yeah, I sent it to him on PM. Okay. Should I invite people? Hmm. Where in this hangout or? No, to Doodle. Can you give me your email? Yeah. And then if I think I have Rick's it's my it's my IRC Nick at kabuntu dot org. Okay, hold up, let me answer. And damn it, demo, demo. Okay, demo, demo. <clears throat> so it's just your IRC name at kabuntu dot org, and we just did that live. <laughs> I'll let you know if I receive anything. Um. Okay. Oopsie. It's that's not it yet. Oopsie do. Oopsie do. Uh. Okay. I'm. I want to set up some notes for this. Uh. Should I, I'm. I'm gonna set up a. Where is that notes at kd dot kd dot org. You can use. Yeah. I can't remember what the other one is that Ubuntu uses. But not a valid what? I can't <clears throat> Okay. I'm trying to see if I have Ricks. I probably do have it. 
you have his uh, email right in. Yeah, I got it. I got it. If I can free if Google will let me copy it, that'd be awesome. Hello, guys. Can you hear me? Hello, Michael. Hello, Michael. Awesome to have you here. And I Thank see you. That. Uh, so we're well, actually I'm a noob in this uh, uh, planning. So Aaron was just uh, fitting me in, filling me in of what exactly is the UOS and how, what we have to plan, what we have to organize for this. Uh, and he's setting up a doodle. Uh, how do you call that? A doodle poll. Yeah, a doodle poll for. Uh, when exactly should we have the presentation? And I've set up a KD notes so we can take notes there. And I'm gonna send this. I can just send it in Avel. Uh, I sent you the link to the doodle, and then I included Rick's email for the doodle. By email? Yeah, but I also sent an IRC too. Ah, in private. Okay. All right. This is for. Oh, um, it's asking me for a username and password. Uh, you need a KD identity. Do you have one? Uh, I may have. Let me try my usual ones. Probably have been easier to set up on a Ubuntu one. I don't disagree, but uh, I don't know where. It gets an uh, e-note or e-pad or something. Yeah, pad.ubuntu.com. Pad. Is this for uh, a show and tell session? Yeah. <clears throat> All right, let me see if Nick Skaggs can join because he's the track lead for that. Yeah, he's the original one who started it. Oh, here we go. Oh, wow, it's sent to you one to developer summit too. Okay, I started a new pad, but uh, can I just write here a new name? I don't know what it looks. I don't know. I never used a pad. Okay. Um. Pad. There. Okay, so I'm gonna send you the link. Uh, I can just send it in uh, as well. I guess that's that's okay. Yep, that's fine. Here's a pad on Ubuntu.com. Mm -hmm. Okay, done. Created. Closing the other one. Okay, so uh, what exactly do we need it's to nice set to up? Nice to have, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> uh, what exactly do we need to set up for this? First, uh, I'm thinking that we need some kind of presentation. <laughs> that will, yeah. Uh, yeah, there's no set format, but if uh, if you want to just like do a screen share and have a list of things that you want to walk to in uh, the new Plasma 5 and just show it off and explain what it's doing. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure if uh, Nick's giving everybody a full hour to do these, or if he's breaking them up into smaller chunks. He he said that this one could be a quick like five to ten minute little. Segment. Five to ten minutes seems to me uh, right now it seems a little short for this. If you yeah. want to take a full hour, I think he's got uh, room for that. A full hour, I think maybe maybe too much. Thirty minutes. 30 minutes, yeah. yeah. I was thinking well, you could always end early. Like, if he gives you an hour slot and you end after 30 minutes, that's fine. Does that automatically move the next person up? Uh, it depends on how he's doing it. If it's just everybody gets an hour block on the schedule, then it'll just wait until the start of the next hour. Mm -hmm. And meanwhile, it will be just blank. We can insert commercials here. Yeah, that's the thing. Is like then if there's somebody else with a 30 minute slot, they can just jump in after us rather than waste time. If they're ready. Time. If they're ready by then. Yeah. Okay. Uh, All right. Nick's gonna be joining us so that he can tell you uh, exactly how he's managing the schedule. Okay, uh, Michael. Just to tell you uh, why is this Hangout Live is just I'm trying to do a kind of a tutorial that shows how to be a community member, how to participate in different events. And this is just showing off how uh, 
how we're trying, how we're planning for this. Okay. Well, cool. Because this will actually be the same way that we do the Ubuntu Online Summit is through on-air hangouts like this. Yeah, for me, it's still messed up. How do you start one? And how do you maintain one? Uh, my, the first one I tried to do with this, uh, YouTube just decided to cut off the last ten minutes from the events, and yeah. So as soon as this is done, I'm gonna download it and make sure that it's gonna stay full. Wait, what the? Why did that work? Oopsie. No sound. Damn thing. What are the plus of new features? The pad is not opening for me. Hmm. Have you used the Etherpad before? Yeah, I just I just logged in actually earlier. It's just sticking at the open ID authorization. Oh, authorization, yeah. Just says open on the main URL. Sometimes it'll get stuck in a loop. Oh, with, uh, it's the really logged in on another one, I guess. Okay. Hey, there's Nick. Hello. Hello. Hello, Nick. So did you guys want to ask him about uh, scheduling and time frames? Yeah, do we have a specific uh, interval where we can do this or we can choose any time? Uh, is it muted perhaps? No, we can hear you. Can you not hear? Hello? I can't hear others. We can hear you. I don't know how he's doing that. I hear Aaron. Oh, you hear me? I hear you. You hear me? Other, I, okay, now I can hear Mike. I think we're okay. And can you hear Sorry. me? Hello? I cannot get in the damn pad. Okay, I, I think uh, Nicholas can't hear me. Hello? That's weird. I can hear you. Yeah, Google did it again. <laughs> <laughs> Just easier to blame Google. Well, I can't blame myself right now. <laughs> I didn't do anything wrong. <laughs> well, I'm logged into the Ether, the Notes, Katie Notes. Mm. Yeah, uh, I'm compiling a list of uh, features that uh, Plasma 5 has. Uh, right now, I just got, I just have a, we have a new theme. <laughs> No. <laughs> <laughs> That's a pretty big thing. Let me. Let me uh, I've, I've never seen Hangouts do this for just one person. It was. I couldn't hear anybody. And you guys, all your mouths were moving. And then, all right. Let me. Let me uh, try something. If you look uh, oh, at the I'll, thumbnail, uh, try to, If you look uh, at Hold the on. bottom with the thumbnail list, you can see dots moving when someone speaks. He's uh, dropped off to try a different browser. Oh. Uh, <laughs> Chromium is known to have issues with Hangouts because, yeah, Google. It's pretty sad because Google Hangouts is Google. No, it, it works in Google Chrome, but it doesn't work in Chromium. Yeah. So uh, I have browser. a window with just for this Hangout I have with Google Chrome, but everything else I'm doing in Chromium. And I do this every time we do a Hangout. What's wow. funny is I'm doing everything in Firefox, and it's working flawless. Yeah, uh, that's a different topic why I haven't switched back to Firefox again. So I've been jumping back and forth between Firefox and Chromium. So. Anyway, can Nick hear us yes. all? Yes, I can hear everyone now, which is weird. But Welcome that's back. The Important thing. Uh, just to make sure, you're the same Nick that sent us the email about uh, UOS, right? Yes, yes, correct. Okay. Mm -hmm. So Nick, they had a question about how much time they had to give their presentations. Okay, so um, every every session is technically an entire slot, which is I think about 45 or 50 minutes. Um, so you have technically all that time if you want to give it. I've been encouraging most people to. Uh, 
think of it as like five to ten minutes, maybe more if you have if you have more to give. But you know that nice five to ten minute demo. If you want to give multiple demos, go for it. Uh, there's plenty of time for for uh, giving demos and talking about uh, doing show and tell type stuff. So the session is plenty long for that. Okay, I think it's plenty of time to present everything. We just have to decide exactly what to present and have a script. Yeah, yeah, and uh, people I'm sure will ask uh, ask a few questions, and you know you might get make, might get to show off some impromptu stuff. Yeah, and um, the, the questions is in the same time, right? Yeah, so it's all real time. So you'll be you guys will be on video, and they'll be on IRC watching. Uh, so there'll be if you've done an on air hangout before, perhaps not. There's a small amount of delay between you know what you present and what they actually see in the video, mm. but it's pretty it's pretty From small. What I've seen so far, it's between two and five seconds. Yeah, I mean, sometimes it's 30 seconds, even. Yeah. Yeah, yeah it all depends on how how much Google's misbehaving that day. That's right. <laughs> pretty pretty close to real time, though. And, of course, then they have to actually type. And if they're like me, they're, I'm not a fast typer. So, you know, it could be a, almost, a, a, you know, 45 <laughs> seconds between what happened and, and their response. But, yeah, it's pretty real time. And so you just get the feel for it. Uh, if there's going to be the, two uh, of you doing this, it might be good to have one of you running the demo and the other watching IRC and uh, repeating the questions on the video. Yeah. Other either, either or, it doesn't matter. Yeah. And that's how we tend to do it when we have our, like, uh, Ubuntu Q&A stuff. Uh, if, when one of us is talking, the other will be watching IRC. I think we could just uh, schedule uh, that uh, Aaron will present some f things and I'll present different things. Uh, so when Aaron presents something, I'm watching IRC. When I'm presenting, he's watching IRC, or we can just switch around. Make sure you put KD Connect on that showcase. Mm, typing it now. And it doesn't have to be just stuff that's new in Plasma 5, really. You can show off stuff that's been around for a while, but that sets KDE apart from other Ds. For people who aren't already familiar with KDE, that's always good to see. I'm going to put in here something that I really use. is the system load widget. System load widget? Yeah, I really want to show you guys this. Uh, let me minimize all the unnecessary stuff. Okay, you, sh you should see my screen now. If you take a look up here, you see three, three circles. Yes. Uh, first one, CPU. Second one, memory. And the third one is swap. And this is not only that it looks awesome, but it's also really useful. Uh, currently on, on this computer it just uh, shows uh, uh, let me see exactly what is these colors mean uh, in cache yeah yellow means in cache but uh, if I have more RAM uh, it shows uh, two different nuances of blue one is memory used and one is memory in cache it can look different on different computers but you can set, oh, I have the colors manually here. Yeah, like this. This is the default. Two different nuances of blue. Uh, and it's not only useful, but it also looks awesome. Okay. Yeah, I would show off the, um, the, the new search thing. Is it K-Runner? Here we go. Uh, uh, mm -hmm. I can search for applications. Uh, it's in Romanian, my computer. Uh, <laughs> search for applications, uh, search for documents. Yeah, launch TV. I don't think I have Baloo enabled right now, but... Uh, I, don't. I compare that K-Runner to Unity Stash on steroids. Yeah, it seems to have some of the same functionality and runs really really fast yeah I disabled some of this yeah I, that's why uh, I've disabled these 
uh, searching for bookmarks, uh, files, folders. I've disabled these because usually from uh, Karen I only start applications. But I think you can still search for files here. Very uh, good to switch windows to. Oh, wait. So I'll just search for, look for a file. Yeah, I have an error.log here. Okay, let's go for that. Here. Error.log. Or you can also type here URLs, for example, google.com. And it says go to google.com. If I click on that, it opens the default browser. And here I go. It opened the default. It opened that page. Uh, YouTube, and you have it here, or you have uh, other files that have YouTube.com in them. I don't. Uh, we can so also show off Ocular. You could spend five to ten minutes talking about, and that would get you at. That'll get you to 30 minutes pretty quickly. Yeah, but we should really set up the script of what exactly we want to present. This should really have to be carefully planned. Yeah, and run through it all one time uh, before you start so that you know that it's all going to work in an expected way and give you results that you know or that you want to get. We also took into consideration to do a pre-recorded screencast, but uh, I don't know. That sounds that maybe that will look like uh, we're just we're showing off functions that work only in specific scenarios, which is not exactly true. Yeah, and you're likely to get questions about some of these, like you know, can this do that? And uh, you'll want to be able to go and quickly do it just to show that it does work. Mm-hmm. Uh, let me write this down. You might want to talk to the devs and show off more key framework stuff too. Uh, like uh, API or? Mm, yeah, I mean, this now they divided the frameworks, the applications, and Plasma separately into three different categories. Okay, we should talk to a few. You should also talk about some of your default apps, especially as they differ from the default apps in uh, the Unity edition of Ubuntu. So things like Dolphin File Manager. Uh, Amarok, if that's still the default music player. It is. Yeah. I think you could spend 30 minutes alone on Dolphin. <laughs> yeah, Dolphin, you can write a whole novel about it. <laughs> you might want to just uh, pick the highlights then for that. <laughs> uh, and also for console. Uh, you guys run on uh, Ubuntu right now? With yes. Unity? Uh, yes. Can you drag tabs from the terminal and just split it into a new window? Um, I don't know. I use yeah. Terminator instead of GNOME Terminal. Oh, so, uh, GNOME Terminal? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Although I've switched. If I've you switched have uh, multiple windows, can you merge them into one using separate tabs? They can't tile windows in the uh, four separate tiles. Can, uh, you can do this in console. You, you just have uh, the def by default you have the tab. Yeah, the only thing I never figured out was if there's not multiple tabs. Like Nautilus and Terminal are both the same way. If you have two windows and you have tabs, you can move them around or drag them out to make a new window. But if it's the only tab, I never figured out a way to to merge it back. Right? Like I've got I've got two terminal windows open and I can't one has two tabs in it, one is just a single window. There's Look, no way. Uh, for example, in console I can do this, and this is something I really would like to present. Uh, do stuff here, 
and then open a new tab. You can drag the tab, drag the tab out. You have two windows. You can have another one. You can move the tab from one window to another, and you can just merge them into a single window. This is what console can do. But it has a bug, which I don't want to present there, <laughs> when you try to split them. Uh, if you try to split view, it will actually double everything. Oh, nice. But uh, if you want to do have separate uh, tab, separate uh, consoles in each one, you can just open... Uh, I can... Wait. Might consider that a feature. Open a new one. Open a new one, and then drag the tab in here. And then you won't have that one copied, because if I close it from here, it will close from both locations. Then open another one, drag it in the other one. So I guess in my opinion, what I would do is go through each of the default applications that have changed and, and talk about some of the new features. This is great for, for console. And then I would also do a tour of, of Plasma itself and talk about the new features there. And so basically, you kind of have several different areas to talk about, and then you can just, uh, in your doc, I would just put some bullet points in there. Um, and so that then when you're actually doing it live, you can kind of glance over, like, okay, the next application is console, and you've got a couple bullet points you can just quickly read, put and in, a, you know, put in your that. mind, and then just do it. Yeah. And so it will be, you know, live and raw uh, on that hand, because, you know, it would just be you going over your notes, but that's okay, I think. Um, and then you just keep going. So Aaron, if you want to show us that you can, you should talk. So the Hangouts We're shows you. To, uh, split view. If you click on the thumbnail in the Hangout, it'll stay on him also. I know. I did that before, and it stayed like that for the entire Hangout. It, it missed a lot, so <laughs> I'm trying to avoid doing that. But I'm well, you just click right on now. it again, and it'll go back to whoever's talking. You show sure it, can, it can split in the four different K1 channel tiling windows, like that. That's what I was showing. Uh, if you're dragging it in the corner. Yeah. There's another cool feature that uh, we can show off. Uh, right oh, click, cool. wait, have a, have a, open a console and a dolphin. What, me? Yeah, open a console and a dolphin. Two separate uh, applications. They, do, they don't have to be uh, KD applications. No, don't maximize them. Uh, right click on the title bar. On which one? Either one. You have more actions. More actions. Go to more actions, and then uh, uh, let. Where is that? Let let me look up on my screen. No, don't tell me they removed that. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh God, no. Okay, there was an option here, but maybe it's not anymore. <laughs> but you can uh, use the title bar as tabs and merge into a single window multiple applications. Oh, I forget. Yeah, I remember that. But uh, apparently, yeah, you just right click on the on one of them, and it, you can just choose where to go. Maybe there's some something you need to enable for that. I'm just gonna write this one in. Yeah, this is why you should definitely go through your whole script before uh, you're actually presenting it live. Right. Yeah, so if you have a... Do you guys have a pad going with this? Yeah, uh, we've sent it on uh, Kubuntu Devel, but I'm going to... Sure. Here, it's in the chat. Hmm... Oh, there you go. Yeah. Cool. Nice. Did you turn it on? Uh huh. What the tab thing? Special window setting. I don't know if I did or not. Yeah, this is something we should really show, but not uh, talk too much about. Because there are too many settings and people should should just they're gonna get scared by all these settings. Yeah, if you've got a couple really neat ones that you want to show off, that would be good. But 
I wouldn't do too many of them. Preferably by default settings, too. Yeah. Because we're, now you go, go into this setting, this setting, this setting, this setting, then this no, setting. No, 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 no. We, we shouldn't go through all of them. Uh, there are way too many. Yeah. How about uh, desktop widgets? I remember Kitty 4 had a bunch of different things. Are there any good ones in uh, personally, I don't, 5? Personally, I don't use them that much, but uh, let's I see. Have a few. I have a few going. I have two notes right now. Oh, yeah, notes I use. <laughs> I just don't have any right now. <laughs> I have them. I can set these notes to white so it matches the background. <laughs> Okay, I'll also write that. Unfortunately, you're missing an uh, RS, RSS feed one. Oh, yeah. Well, we should show off the new calendar widget. I um, I think I have it on some in another activity. Hold up. You you have it in uh, your panel. If you just click yeah. on the clock. Yeah, it, it's much prettier than the other one. Okay, we should also present activities. Nobody understands activities. Yeah, that's a good one. Like this one, Michael. <laughs> My academy activity. <laughs> <laughs> There's a Spain. <laughs> Okay, any other applications we might want to show? Notifications. Contact. See. Something uh, new and awesome in contact to show. The notification center would be a good one. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh. Right on Ooh, the system settings, it's uh, new and it has a few things. What the hell? What? I did not know you could do that. Okay. Yeah, the system settings is very nice now. What, what I found, find mostly useful is uh, sh showing people how to change their keyboard layouts, how to add more keyboard layouts. This is something, something that uh, many people have asked me. Let me remove this. Okay. Device not reachable. Oh, I know why. Anyways. Unnamed is typing in the, pa in the pad. And I think that is Nick. Yeah. <laughs> nice. There we go. Balloons. <laughs> Ed. Yay. Chromium doesn't know who I am. Firefox doesn't know who I am either. Uh. Wait. Where is it? Mike. Michael. See yes. what look what it look what pad does. <laughs> yeah. Every time I click the link. Yeah, I've been I, able to get in at all. I was in earlier, but then I logged out. Maybe if I go to this. Yes, that worked. Okay, now I'm all in. Now you should be able to go to the direct URL. Mm, you should stop your screen sharing. Maybe you're showing stuff that you don't want to show. Well, the only thing I was showing was the IRC, right? Well, I think you just showed your email address when you logged in. Oh, well. And th maybe you yeah, don't want that. Passwords. Passwords. Um, yeah, but uh, also email address. You don't want to show, show it because you never know. Ooh, something, something that I would like to show for people that are interested: K develop. 
Oh yeah, how's that? How's that gotten on? I've not looked at that in a long time. Uh, I'm I'm trying to work on it as much as I can, but uh, right now at work I really need KDE SVN, and I'm working on porting it to frameworks. Yeah. And that has taken some time right now because I'm still learning about a few things. Do and people still use Kate? I used to Kate. love Kate. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Amazing. Don't, don't forget about Kate. Has that been ported to KDE 5? I used to love Kate. It was amazing. Kate, and, Kate yeah. has been ported. Console has been ported. Dolphin has been ported, but uh, Ubuntu doesn't ship do port the ported version of uh, Dolphin. I don't uh, know exactly why. I, I didn't understand that. Oh, I spelled it wrong, of course. About Dolphin. Yeah, Dolphin on uh, the latest Kubuntu still ships uh, what? with uh, KDE 4. Oh, I see why. So that's a bad thing. Mostly because uh, a few functions are lost in Dolphin because of this. For example, if you navigate to a specific directory, uh, you can just right click in there and go to Actions and open terminal here. But since it doesn't see console because it's KDE 4 and console is in KDE 5, it just, you don't have that option anymore. I am now in to the pad. Yay! So Add your ideas in there. Do you run, do you run uh, like from SVN then, I take it, or something, instead of running Kubuntu traditionally? Mm, no. Uh, just tr basic install of Kubuntu. Oh, okay. Uh, what I mentioned about SVN is I'm working on the porting of uh, KD SVN to frameworks because I need that at work. What is, what is Pinch? What is what? P I and P I C H, a couple awesome ones. Show window settings in the pad. I don't. What is that? I don't know. Why did I type pinch? I wanted to type choose. Also, no. it is beyond its own thing. I think. <laughs> Someone hit control W on that. That's how you're doing it. Setting it up. So, hello. Something happened here. Yeah, my connection died, so let me. Your connection to the pad? No, to Hangouts. Hey, did nobody else notice? <laughs> yeah, he's still here. Yeah, we can still hear and see you. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Chrome, Chrome just told me you have been disconnected. He left Check for your me. Your connection, and I was like, "What's happening?" Yeah, he was gone on my screen. <laughs> but I'm okay. special. Uh, so I wanted to type choose in here. I don't know, lately my fingers are going crazy on the keyboard. I, I want to type one word and I'm typing random letters. So I don't know. I'm going to take a holiday break. Uh, yeah, this is another thing uh, that I should have mentioned at the beginning. Uh, I'm going to be on a holiday break since... Uh, from yeah, from uh, Wednesday evening till uh, Monday evening. Uh, that would be from uh, the 29th of April till the 4th of May. Just in time to recharge for Ubuntu Online Summit. Yeah, yeah, so you guys need to make sure that you have this done before you go on holiday then. That means I have uh, one and a half days left. Yep. <laughs> Uh, if I come with ideas, I'll I'll write them down when I'm on holidays. But uh, where I am, right where I am, I won't have, I won't have electricity. I won't have signal. I won't have internet. I'll just have a pen and paper. Not even my laptop because it's useless to carry it over there. Yeah, mostly it's just recharging my batteries, going in the woods and sleeping over there. <laughs> Sounds like your kind of trip, Nick. Yes. <laughs> yes, it does. <laughs> those are good trips to have. 
All right, so do you guys have any questions about uh, UOS itself or how to set all this up into Summit? Uh, I have a question, but uh, it's not clearly worded. Uh, can you tell me something about uh, UOS? Just make, give me a short presentation of what exactly it is, what's its purpose, uh, and like that. So are you familiar with the old uh, Ubuntu Developer Summit that we used to do? Partially. Twice a year? Partially. I know of some things about it, but so just the, assume that I don't. The original idea was just to get everybody together at the start of each new development cycle to talk about what's going to be going on in the next one. And uh, that went on in in-person events and hotels for a while, and then we switched to doing it all online using Hangouts. So there's still a lot of, let's get together and let's plan the next release, but we also use it a lot now for talking about what's landed in the previous one and what's great about it. We have a lot bigger audience now than we used to have when we were all, um, you know, just the people at the event could hear us. So can with you give an approximate video, number? Uh, not really. I mean, we can look at video views, um, but it's hard to approximate how many. It's no, I'm five to how six many minutes. would uh, watch live when it's actually happening? I don't. I'd have to go look and check. I know it's somewhere around like three to five hundred uh, total attendees. How how many are in each specific session will vary. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Many. Yeah, and then since they're all recorded and available uh, after the fact, too, we get a lot more people who watch uh, after the videos are recorded the next day or the next week or something. A lot of times people will write articles about what happened that get published the next day, and so people will go back and watch those videos. Right. So you can promote this after you're done as a, a way of, you know, like here, if you want to see um, if someone asks about, uh, about Kubuntu, uh, you can sort of point them at it. Yeah, and about Kubuntu, we're going to have a new website launched soon. Uh, right now, we're waiting for the canonical sysadmins to get it published. And then we just have to do some minor bug checking, update the download page, and minor stuff. And then we can just launch it. Nice. So hopefully, we will have it by then. I have a wiki page here I just posted in the chat that has instructions for how to uh, set up the on-air hangout, which obviously you know how to do since you set this one up, uh, but then also how to update Summit with that information. Uh, that second part is what tells Summit where the video is so that it can embed it in the website. Yeah, I'm going to copy this link in our notes. Mike, when are you going to turn the schedule around? I forgot to ask. Is it not available for you to schedule right now? I no, the auto scheduler. I don't know that. Oh, we, fair, we haven't done auto scheduling. Much. We we haven't done auto scheduling since we went online. So wow. you have to manually schedule them. I know I always ended up doing that, but I guess I. Okay. Brain lapse on my part. Fair enough. Yeah, so, I don't remember what the original reason was for not doing it, but we haven't since it's been online. Yeah, that's, that's cool. Um, so then for Aaron and Avidio, uh, whenever you guys actually propose the session, I don't know if you proposed. I wasn't there this morning unless I'm crazy. Um, I can help you put, put it into a time slot for you. Well, we have a doodle. We uh, have a doodle set up for that, but uh, considering my uh, leave of absence, uh, I'd rather do it... Uh, later rather than soon, sooner. So if I'll be back on Monday evening, I'd rather do that on Wednesday, maybe even Thursday. That's for me, but I can do it earlier, no problem, but uh, I'd rather have more time to check everything and make sure that our script is ready. Okay, so we can plan for Thursday then. Um, Aaron, any feedback? Uh, Thursday, uh, are we looking at the same time that we started the stream, or? Uh, at the time? Yeah, like 21.30 or something. 
So you have uh, three times entered in there? Uh, uh, yeah. I don't know. I just put random uh, times. Yeah, I'm seeing it in my time zone. You're seeing it in yours. So I'm going to go for the one in the middle. It cannot be my time zone. You can't. Wait. I guess it is. Oh, I put in my time zone. Crap. Well, no, 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 no. It's okay. It just shows your time zone for you. Yeah, but those aren't the times the summit's going to happen. Yeah, so you have between uh, you have fourteen hundred to nineteen hundred UTC to choose from, except for in the middle. I think seventeen hundred is our lunch break. Let me check that. It has to be after so, like twenty one hundred, I think, for me. You don't have to. Um, you don't have to have a, a time nailed down right now if you want to. But if you want to make the meeting, that would be helpful so that it can get on the schedule and, and show up. You just have to select a title and say it's going to be on a show and tell track. That's it. Oh crap! What am I going to do here? Are you oh, able to make any of those times, or is that in the middle of your work day? Or school I think day. it's right in the middle of my work day. I think? I don't... Wait. 20... 2100 UTC is... Wait, no, wait. 2100 20 UTC like, is like... I think it's 10am to... Yeah, I think it's 10am to 6 for us. Yeah, I think... Yeah, I should be able to make it. Like, If it's like 2100 is 6 o'clock here, I think... Yeah, I'll be fine. So, do we still stick with the same time that are in right now? No, because those are wrong. It's currently 20 UTC, so it ends at 4 p.m. our time, Aaron. Or, wait. Yeah, okay. 4 p.m. our time. I don't get time zones. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> it, it, it's a mess for me. I'm trying to yeah. get used to it. <laughs> I've been trying to get used to it for years. It hasn't worked yet. I have notes showing what conversion is. I like the visuals. Yeah, we should make a widget for that, for KDE. With the time zones? Yeah, time zone conversion and a, a tool that can help us. That would be amazing. You don't have a world clock thing in KDE? Yeah, we do. But uh, you have to add additional clock widgets and uh, choose the time for each one. Uh, but, and you can see the current time, but uh, you don't have a converter or something. And I, so far online, I haven't found a converter. I can just input a time in a random time zone and just... I'm here, take this in GMT and output it in UTC. I wonder if that would be a good Ubuntu touch app off topic. That I would be a good app on anything. Well, we write it in Ubuntu touch or KDE, it'd be QML anyway, so it'd be easy to transfer over. We can have the same code base for everything, I, I think. Yeah, QML. Yeah, do you, if you see the uh, site I posted, it's the one I like because I'm a visual person. You just drag the time zone. You just drag the slider around. You're right, we probably could make an app. Oh my god, I'm going to bookmark this. <laughs> Holy crap, it's going to be my home page. <laughs> it's what I use, because it gets confusing otherwise. Damn it. And can I problem. pick the locations I want? No, I don't think so. I think you just it's just stuck there. But we could, like I said, you could easily make an app that would that would do yeah. that. But it's always been enough. It says, it says my current local time, so that's useful. It has my current time. It has all the U.S. time zones. It has London uh, and CET, <laughs> and it has the Asian time zones. It has every time zone I care about, so it's never been an issue. And you can send it to people. It changes the URL. Awesome. Oh, crap. Yeah, but you can only see. Uh, but you don't need more than this. You can only see three days. In so. It, but you don't need more, so it's okay. 
Right. Yep. Yeah, because it gets really fun uh, yesterday and today. <laughs> the Asian time zones. It's tomorrow. Uh, Nick, you sent a link uh, summit.ubuntu.com about uh, create meeting. Yes. Yeah, that's uh, where you would uh, add yours in there so that Nick can put it on the schedule. Yes, that would be really helpful for me so it can go on the schedule and, and then people know that it's coming. We don't have to have a time, like I said, whenever you guys get a, a time and a date. It sounds like Thursday, but whenever that's so, nailed, I'll put it on the schedule and we'll be all good, but we don't need to do that right now. But okay, I'll let the, the wiki page. I'll add the link to the wiki page uh, Michael sent about how to do this. And the create a meeting link, I'll add it this again uh, here. Michael. So 18.30 UTC would be 2.30 for us, Michael? 18.30, that's uh, 6 p.m. It's, I think it's 2.30 here. So at 6 p.m. UTC... Yeah, we're um, UTC minus 4 right now. Oh, yeah, right it, is. Now. it is. 2.30. Uh, I already have that right now. That's 8 p.m. in my time. Oh, yeah, uh, and I... Hmm. So, Aaron, for me, it's it's no good on Tuesday. No, we're on, no good on Tuesday? No. Okay. Uh, I have some engagements. The, How do you the, edit the damn thing? Uh, on Doodle? Yeah. You should have an edit button. Uh... I don't have any one. I don't have one running right now, so I can. Do you have to have a? Do you have to be signed in for this, or do you? Can yeah, you... you have to be signed in. Oh, well. You created it without being signed in. Apparently. How? Does it allow you to do that? I put my name and my email address. Huh. That's interesting. All right. Is there anything else you guys need from Nick and I? So far, I think we got it pretty much covered. Uh, if, we, okay. if we have further questions, we'll just ask on IRC. Yep, you know where to find us. Okay. That's right. Thanks okay. a lot. Right. Thanks, guys. Thanks, guys. Thanks. See you. Bye. Bye. It so seems like is Michael it? is still here. I think he's stuck. Imagine he's off on his end. Do you think Thursday would be good? So let me reopen that page one moment. Yeah, Thursday would be awesome for me. We we still have within uh, Wednesday to do some planning and checking, so Thursday would be the best. Okay. Uh, what do I have Thursday? Thursday is the seventh. Yeah, Thursday is the seventh. I have a membership board meeting on that day. That's not till later. It's not until six o'clock for me, which is the end of the the whole summer will be over by then anyway. Uh, I've added lots of links uh, in the pad. So, uh, and the first one is a time zone site uh, Nick sent. We can just use. You can just use that one. It's it looks really easy to use. You need an invitation in order to participate in this poll. <laughs> in your own poll? Oh, I get uh, because you have to be logged in. Hmm. Any Google? Do I already have an account on here? Probably. I think I do. Because I was using it to do online summit before last year. So if you want to do it on uh, 6 p.m. UTC, that would mean 9 p.m. my local time. 6 p.m. I was looking at 18.30 UTC. That's uh, 6.30 p.m. Does that be good? 9.30 p.m. My, my time, so 
Um, yeah, it's okay. It's okay. Well, that's around time that we started this anyway, right? Uh, today we started it at 10, my time. 10 p.m. Started at 3 o'clock? What? 3 o'clock for me, never mind. Ah, yeah. So, 9 p.m. for me is 2 p.m. for you. Okay, hold on. Um, so, seven hours difference, oh my. So you're in the middle of the day right now? Yeah. I have to go to bed. I have to wake up in the morning again. So 8, 1830 UTC. I love okay. notepad. <laughs> uh, so let's uh, add uh, stuff to the pad everything we want to present and uh, add stuff and change stuff in there. Uh, I want to add uh, each application or widget or whatever it is we want to present and add the specific things we want to show. Just to uh, add another line indented. Oh! Ah. Next. Uh, Make that translucent. What the hell? Why would you do that? I just want to... <laughs> For example, in console, I just want to show the. This would be. The window's open here. May show off some features of Kwin. I think tab group would be. Oh no, never mind. That'd be console. Uh, we have console. Just do a control F if you. Again, I'm typing random letters. Uh. Yeah, so uh, we don't need to be in the Hangout for this. Uh, we just type in here everything that we need and we'll have another Hangout. Uh, let's see. Uh, if Rick answers, we'll have another one with him uh, tomorrow or sometime Wednesday before I leave. If not, Monday. And I'm, I think we can just add stuff uh, until Monday. I'll, I'll, while I'm on the holidays, uh, I'll see if I can remember some stuff. It depends on how's, how's that going to go. Uh, and Days. add stuff on some paper, and then when I get here, I'll write them. All right, cool. So, do you want to just add the proposed time that we're thinking of on here as well? Yeah, sure. Uh, is this updated? Which one? Uh, doodle. I don't. I can't. Wait. I'm log in for that thing. Because uh, it seems in. that I can't. You need okay, to log in, in order in. to participate. Hmm. You need oh. an invitation in order to participate. Did right. I you? Uh, you sent me this uh, using the Kubuntu email. Yeah. I haven't got it. The Kubuntu email is just an alias for my Gmail, and uh, Doodle, yeah. of course, doesn't know that. Uh, but still, I haven't received an email about that. About Hold up, the, what the hell? I'm logged in as me, and the poll was created by me, but I can't edit it. Okay, then just forget I'm it. Then. Oh, wait, wait, I got it, I got it, I got it. Participate now. Yeah, but I was going to edit it. Just, then just make another one. Yeah, I'm going to do that. <laughs> just, yeah, just make another one. Uh, okay, so I've added the links in the pad for everything we need. I'll just change the doodle link once uh, it, that's done. 
What's funny is I made it with the same email address. Hmm. Okay, May 5th. Wait, what? Still no message from Rick. There you go. 5th, 6th, and 7th of May. Enable time zone support. Okay. Let's just keep it my time because I'll show you your time anyway. Okay. 2.30, that's my time zone. Cool, cool, cool. I think that's the end of the thing anyway. Okay, I'm gonna try to arrange this somehow. It does not remember anything. Uh, I was going to email you the link and then you forward it, I guess. Unless I can get that thing to copy again. Man, the damn Ubuntu GNOME. Ubuntu GNOME is more active with translations than us. Uh, on KD, yeah, I really want to propose that we. <coughs> uh, set up a Poodle uh, server for KD translations. I, personally, I can't translate using that, and I would do many trans... I, do, I would do a lot of translating, but uh, I, I can't I can't work like that. What tool? Uh, localized we have to use right now. You, you, uh, right now, for KD, if you want to do translations, you have to d uh, do an SVN checkout for all the .po files. And then use localize or some application to translate, and then do a SVN commit. And you can only do that if you have an account. So people cannot suggest translations, and so that uh, someone can approve them. The documentation is using the KD tools, I think, to the user base. You need to be logged in and have a translator account. And everything. Yeah, but that's for wiki, and that there that's just media wiki. It's. A different platform. Yeah. Uh, you are talking about the, the wiki or the applications? The uh, the dot wiki. Oh, so yeah. F f sorry, so I was talking about different thing. Translations, either way. Okay, I sent the doodle link to you and invitation to Rick. Now this should work. Okay, I can vote. Wait, what's on the fifth and sixth? I had something planned. Uh, I should probably move this damn stuff around in appropriate dates. Okay, I cannot make it on the sixth at that time. On the sixth. Do, well, I don't even think 4.30 is in a simple time for this, but whatever. I think that's going to... Yeah. Thursday is all good. This should be... Come on. Like this. Yeah. I don't have anything to set on, the, on Thursday. On Wednesday, I mean. Yeah. That's good. Okay, I made my participations. In uh, Google? Yeah. Let me get emails. Okay, show everything. Oh. 
Okay, I can do the last one from Thursday, but I'd rather not because it's it's late to start that at that time. I just put it on there. It's all good. As an example. Uh, so, my what's this? Yes. So I've entered my options. So for me, this would be the best. We can do others, but this would be the best. So I just wrote. 2.30 p.m. for me, 9 o'clock for you. 9.30 for me. 9.30 and 10.30 for me. That's the best for me on Thursday. Because we still have a, two, we still have a Monday evening uh, and uh, some random splitted times in Tuesday, uh, Wednesday and Thursday until then to... Make sure. those times are good for me, I think. Okay, I'll uh, change the link on the right, pad. I changed the link on the doodle. Oh, okay then. I need to change it then. Okay, that should be good for right now. <laughs> Lots and lots of emails. KD Connect should go into default apps. Contact as well. Notification center, I'm going to add this into the widgets. Setting again, settings again into apps. Hmm. Sense of San Francisco is three hours different than me. Okay, develop. This is not in default apps, but Special window settings. Choose a couple awesome ones. This is for KWIN. And this should go in. Blah. It's 11.22 for you right now, right? Yep. Okay, then Spain is on London's time then. It's 9.22 there. Spotify. You might want to disable KD Connect until you want to use it during the uh, the session too. I can just. I don't think it's necessary. Why? Unless you get a text message or email that you don't want to show. It's in Romanian. I'm not worried about that. <laughs> I'm. I don't think many people from Romania will watch this. So, but you're right with what you're saying. Yeah, installed. Ah, like this. Queen. Do you have to get a passport to travel to Spain? What? Do you have to get a passport? To what? To go out of the, your country? Uh, only if I go outside the European Union. Which is covered by... It, it, um, is London covered by that? Yeah. So to go to the US, you need one? Yeah. Desktop layout, setup and restore. Who wrote this and why? Desktop layout and restore. Setup and restore. Maybe. Yeah, that's uh, yeah. I'm gonna put this in the widgets. No, in the desktop section. I'm going to 
to add here uh, undo remove widgets and other stuff like that. Okay. Air connect into device. Mm. Oh, there it is. Yay! I connected my one plus one to my computer. I think we should end it. Yeah, I'm just uh, finishing up the Etherpad. No, don't do that. <laughs> Were you going to wipe the whole pad off? I was going to break the whole indentation for everything, and I worked on that. <laughs> okay. I copied it in case. <laughs> what? I copied it just in case you did. <laughs> no, it's, it's okay. Copied it again. Uh, okay, so I just uh, cleaned it up a little and organized. So this is my vision of how we should organize this. Uh, have we have a few main sections: desktop stuff, uh, default applications, other applications and widgets, and other stuff. Just explain activities or uh, prepare show off to show how to do stuff on questions, get feedback from developers. Uh, yeah, this is a different thing. We should go higher. You wanted to switch back and forth between who monitored their IRC and very f and answered questions and stuff. Yeah, I was thinking maybe each one of us should choose uh, a few of these things that uh, should present, and meanwhile the other one would just uh, listen, complete uh, stuff. If if I forget to say something, you and you remember it, just say it and. And meanwhile, if I'm when I'm presenting, you can watch IRC and ask a question. Flip a coin. Who goes first? I don't really care. <laughs> it's just that we should each choose a few things that we should present. But first, I would uh, go for. Uh, Let's write everything that we want to do. For example, in Dolphin, we have Dolphin, but what do we want to present about Dolphin? Uh, F is functions. Particularly F4. Uh, I'm going, I prefer F3, but all of them. Just show all of them and talk about them. Uh, I think F I might have hit the space key. Uh, F keys functions, for example. Uh, go to, go, go to, no, edit to location. Oh, the uh, editable location? Yeah, edit location. Uh, also add uh, URLs. There's another awesome you thing. Those. You have uh, those to pass, I don't. What? Like you have the uh, open uh, cloud stuff to add in those. I don't have any other things to really test that out. I don't have a remote server or anything to connect to for that. Bookmarks or favorites. You know that's broken, right? No, it's not. Uh, for uh, me, it what I'm talking about is just, uh, I'm talking actually about places. Just grab a folder and drag it on the left. Broken for me. It works up here. For me, let me show you. And I can also. Ooh, uh, I'm gonna add this here. Come out like this. Moving. Uh, wait, wait, one more. I'm, I'm not looking at you. One moment. Okay. 
Uh, AB Connect Device File System. Okay, you can show me now. Like moving downloads over here, you mean? Yeah. Okay, we're gonna do this. But just move over yeah. there. Here, there. Works. I'm closing Dolphin. And you saw it was over there, right? Yeah, but you stopped screen sharing. Yeah, I closed Dolphin. And where are they? They don't, it doesn't okay. save it. Uh, something's broken here on your side. It works here. Yeah. And so I, I've tested this on several computers. It works. That's like the second or third time I've tried it. it uh, try to reset your settings. Reset uh, everything uh, dolphin related. Uh. Do a do a grab for all files that have the dolphin name in them, in oh your God. home directory, including hidden files, and then just delete them. No. But just dolphin, nothing else. I'm not gonna do no wild card anything, right? Don't use wild cards. Just uh, do a find. Uh, if you want, I can sh give you everything. A dolphin. <laughs> do a do a find for everything that has a dolphin in it in its name. Oh. Okay. Then just uh, look through those files and decide if there are config settings and delete them. Okay. Uh, so what I wanted to show you this. Uh, I don't think it necessary to be private invalid okay okay so here I have dolphin you see mm -hmm. yeah and I have here one because it connects to my one plus one via KD connect if I click here ta -da! I All have files, that. and I can yeah. just scroll through my files on my device and I don't have to do anything, it just connects automatically, it, it creates a mount point and this is something we should show. This is something I that's awesome. It. You just click here and bing, it's there. You can open it. You can go crazy. I have it right here too. Camera. Look, all my pictures. I'm not going to open any, one, any of them because I don't know what I'm going to open. So. See, look at mine. Uh, looking now? Yeah. This is on the one plus one. Yeah. This this is I something we, we, we must show. Probably not show my Game Boy Advance emulators actually. <laughs> <laughs> okay. That. Uh, so I wrote this down as a KD Connect device file system, uh, which is in Dolphin, but uh, it should be. We should also set the order here. Uh, present Dolphin after KD Connect. Maybe. Maybe Dolphin before KD Connect, because Dolphin's a core app of that was required for that to work. Okay, then uh, I'll move. I agree. Okay, then I'll move the KD Connect device file system. Device file system in Dolphin. I'll move this into KD Connect. So like this device file system in in dolphin dolo in dolphin right <laughs> there. Anything else we have to present in dolphin? Mm, split view. That's the F uh, functions. Okay. New t new tab. This is something I always add tabs. Tabs, tabs. Uh, but uh, before core apps, desktop stuff, uh, I want to show sometime how to how to edit toolbars. Add buttons. Remove buttons. You realize that this is turning into more edit of a buttons. Uh, oh, what I want to show is, hey, look, I opened Dolphin here. Uh, right click on this, go to configure a toolbar, 
search for uh, tab and then just add this here there done that's like five seconds Whoops. Uh, oh this wow this is turning I, I shouldn't forget i shouldn't forget set your locale to english what <laughs> I have my system in Romanian. I, I must change it in English for the presentation. <laughs> in well, then. Why do I feel that I... English, no, I, I didn't misspell that. It just looks looks wrong when I look at the word. What English? Yeah, when uh, it, it I'm looking at it and it seems that it's misspelled, but it's not. But anyhow, it's, it's right. <laughs> okay, thanks. Okay, uh, Amarok. Radio. Uh, if you want to go with Amarok, I don't want to do Amarok. I I don't want to do Amarok. <laughs> I have some reasons, and I I don't want to do Amarok. I love this radio, the internet stream. So uh, I want to do Dolphin. Is that okay with you? But we're doing Dolphin. No, no, no. Uh, I want to present the, this application. Oh, you want to present? Yeah. So uh, let's see. How can we note this? Who will present? I'll just. You just make two categories: me, your name, and my name, and put your that under yours. Yeah, I just added it here. It'd be it'd be neater doing it the other way, but <laughs> what? It'd be neater if you just put it in two everything in two categories. Uh, what you present and what I present? Yeah. It's up to you. I mean, I, have to I was read thinking it more, more of like uh, uh, organize them by uh, uh, their time when each in order of the presentation, and then just write next to each one who will present that. That was my idea. No, I don't even know how to say how you pronounce your name right. Uh, just pronounce it either way. I'm I'm used to it being mispronounced. I don't even know how to start with it. Go nuts. Flynn? Wait. I know that's wrong. I was just going to do a nickname kind of thing. You missed a few letters. <laughs> yeah, I know. It's, it's one word. That's it's frustrating. <laughs> Try to spell it. <laughs> O V I D I U dash F O R I N F L O. That that's an F L. It's spell it, not pronounce it. So I spelt it. Uh, Ovidio Florin. Ovidio. Ovidio Florin. Ovidio Florin. Good enough. American accent, but it's good. <laughs> well. Uh, you should you should hear it pronounced by Portuguese people. Do you want to like do one person do every widget, or do you want to like? Uh, I know a lot about system load widget, and I like the note widget. So uh, I don't I don't know uh, about the widgets. You can go with the notes. Uh, what I would like to show is the system load. And maybe the calendar and clock, but I'm not sure. Hey, Riddle's around. Should we bring him in? I'll, I'm going to see if he responds to my message first. Hola. <laughs> Hola. Oh, no, did, I, did I message Riddle about the passport? Yeah, Where I did. You got, got my message then. <laughs> Buenos noches. 
still no vanguard on this canonical sysadmin. There's no one I can talk to about uh, the migration. Okay, should we end this? It's pretty long already. Oh, I just messaged him, but... Yeah, no, no, no problem, we can... Uh, our limit is eight hours, so... Is that your body limit, or is, like, Hangout limited to eight hours? Hangout limited to eight hours. I would figure, like, it would be your body, like, you're gonna just, like, eight hours is my limit here, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, and in, in eight hours, I'm going to shut down, so... <laughs> I would see you shutting down in, like, an hour or two, actually, at this point. Like you said, you're tired. Yeah, I, if I work and concentrate on stuff, I'm starting to wake up, but to, as soon as I'm finished, I'm gonna, just going to drop dead. Don't literally drop dead. Well, not dead, but sleep. I know it's figuratively... Okay, let's see what else do we have to edit here. I really, this is an off topic, but like I just figured to bring it up now about the site. I really want to tie in the docs to the site, like have a top bar for it or something. Because then everybody else got to figure out, oh, the docs are at userbase.key.org. Uh, add, add a Trello card for that, please, so we won't forget it. Because I think it's really important to tie it in there. So yeah, yeah, I, I agree. Uh, just add a Trello card so we don't forget it as soon as we have it published. Uh, I don't want to make any edits on the current. Uh, yeah, yeah, side. we're in a freeze right now. Yeah, I understand that. Uh, so, so you you got KD Connect, okay? With system settings, that's a lot of settings to show. Kate! I'm gonna Kate. grab Kdevelop. But the yeah. Kdevelop would be, will be optional. It depends on how much time we have. Yeah, because I think Kate's gonna take up quite a bit of time. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna move... wait, no. I'm gonna move Kate higher. Just after Dolphin. Riddle's annoying, annoying us. <laughs> Brain chip. Bruno Matrix. <laughs> oh my god, dude. I just hate him. I know, that's what I'm saying. Oh my god. <laughs> hey! Wake up! He's, a, he's awake, he just... <laughs> he's doing stuff, so no problem. That's so cool that they just, like, him and Slater hang out because they work at the same place. Uh, new calendar widget. Uh, what else do we have? Console. I'm going to take in console. No, don't disconnect me. You're still here. No, no, no. This time on the... On the Need to add widget calendar widget. Calendar, yay! What the hell do you always do this? What, what did I do? Not you, this stupid widget. The widget system is like weird in the new plasma, it gets. It gets like really close to the edge and then it'll like show up. Oh, okay. I'm gonna put this like five inches away when I'm hovering one inch from the edge and I'll throw it to the other side of the window. Like, no, I want it this side. Can you can you show this? Um let's see if we can recreate that little thing. Okay. Desktop. Okay, can you see my desktop? One moment. No, I can. So I see your widget there. You're moving see, it around. Um, Why is it throwing it on the other side? That That's what I'm saying. I let go. If I let, okay, it's good there. Sometimes I'm like, rope, there, see? <laughs> oh, 
Oh, I want to show one as well. I want to show one as well. Let me find a suitable picture for this. Stupid thing. Okay, uh, Rudel apparently doesn't understand. I told him it's live and I asked him, are you okay with that? And he asked, uh, am I okay with you asking me to join the Hangout? <laughs> you can see the conversation. Yeah, I gave him the, I gave him the link, so. Oh, you did already? Yeah, I just in private. Yeah, I figured. I'm waiting for him to join. We have one going? spectator. We have one spectator. Hello, whoever you are. How do you see? I can't. Uh, you, if you look in the bottom below the thumbnails with us. I don't see anything. Dee -dee 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 -dee. I just see me and you on here. <clears throat> uh, below the, our list. Ah, uh, do you have that button to stop transmission? Uh, I have a button to end the call. No, then no, no. no. It would be on your side because you started it. Should be. Yeah, yep. yeah, yeah. So. Is he preferred? I think he's okay with being live. I gave him the link. I'm not sure if this will upload to YouTube at this point, though. Because it's got to be at least two hours. Or maybe. It's, maybe it's, I don't have to upload it, it uploads it automatically. That's funny because, like, you uh, they have a certain uh, amount of views per video for YouTube to like get let you pass like the 10 minute mark when uploading yep. videos. Yeah, That's but not the good. Hangouts is special. Uh, wait, yeah. but, uh, you can get past that to 10 minute mark. You just have to go to your account settings and do a checkbox. I That's thought it was it. like you have to get a certain amount of views per video no. or something. No. Hey, hey even... John. Jonathan. Hello. Hello. What wow, the? Wow, you are green. It's night vision. Yeah. Jonathan in night vision. He has like the cool, like, NSA out <laughs> top with night vision. <laughs> yeah, uh, so I'm drunk with tired. Uh, we're planning the U. Wait, I'm lost. You went to online summit? Yeah, thanks. We're planning that and care to give us a few ideas. We're highlighting features of. Plasma 5. I'm sending the link in the chat again for our path. You can just through that. Okay. So this is as a publicity to demonstrate uh, Plasma 5 to people, is it? Not just Plasma 5, also uh, Kubuntu uh, 15.04 with our apps and everything. And KDE Frameworks 5. Uh, oh. Jonathan, quick question. Why don't we ship uh, Dolphin in uh, with frameworks? Because it doesn't exist. It's not been released yet. Ah, okay. We ship like. what, upstream ships. So, quick answer. Thank you. And actually that was politically controversial because the new maintainer of Dolphin is, he's kind of new and he's a bit shy. He missed the deadline. A lot of people said, it should go in anyway, but then the release manager got a bit upset about being pressured, so it didn't happen. <clears throat> um, so, yes, it was just a case of... Uh, Jonathan, it. just to be sure, you saw our comments that this Hangout is live, right? Yep. Okay, and it will be, it's recorded and it will remain on YouTube. You okay with that? I'm famous. Yay! <laughs> People can see my green face. Should I turn the lights on? Wow, what what was that? Okay, we can't see you. We, we can just see 
lines. I, I can just see lines. I can't see you. So. Wait, what? Did like, I block I can't that? See... I don't know if you can block him. No. Uh, <clears throat> oh, but there's something else I can do. Oh my god. Oh. Yeah, I did block. Okay. You Whatever. blocked him? I blocked someone on a messaging client. Okay. Rip, can you still see? Can you see our pad? He might be fixing something. The light. The neon lights. Do you want to do anything with the uh, Google Plus page that I have currently? Uh, it's useful, but uh, I don't know how to use it. I don't know how we can make it useful. I see it's that it has potential, but uh, I don't know exactly how we can use it. We could use it to promote um, Trello cards. Mm. Maybe we can just have a on the Kubuntu community just have a category for this. Mm. Yeah. Maybe that would be more useful so that people can just post in there. Yeah, as long as they have a Google Plus account or Google account in general, actually. <laughs> Yeah, but if they don't have a Google account, they can't really see that. Or if they can see it, it's okay. It's just news. I'm just saying cause they're just laying around. <laughs> okay, I'm tired. So, Jonathan, are you still here? Yep, I'm here. Have you have you taken a look on our pad? I have, uh, so to some extent, it's a difficult thing to uh, demonstrate because um, kind of the nature of the design of Plasma 5 is that it still maintains the same layout as Windows 95. It hasn't changed spectacularly in terms of layout because when people do that, as GNOME did with GNOME 3, then people go, Ugh, that looks weird and horrible and I don't want to use it. So it's a feature of Plasma 5 that it's just more of the same, it's just more slick and more smooth and, and nicer. Um, which is kind of hard to demonstrate in an hour because a little bit better and a bit more slick is, is, oh, is this. hard to give a big bang to. Um, so when I did my broadcast as part of Ubuntu on Air, I, I did slightly struggle to go, well, what, what can we actually show up here? It's just it looks lovely. It's it's smooth and slick and it's it's really nice. Um, but where are the main feature highlights? Well, the main feature highlights, of course, are that it's just overall a bit better. Um, so you've got a bit of that challenge in terms of it. You've got a nice list here. Um, so yes, definitely go over all of that. Um, work going over um, things like junior jobs, things that still need to be done. So you can find on Trello. There's a bunch of there's how many to do cards that people ought to do. Um, look over the KDE junior jobs. You can you can mention sort of things that's the ways that people can help out in order to build community and whatnot. Um, you can talk about the way that the release management has changed from monolithic software compilation, KDE software compilation, into uh, splitting up the libraries as frameworks and um, That's in the, the get feedback from developers how KF5 came to existence. That should be presented sometime at the beginning, or I don't know, before all these apps, before showing apps. Yep. In my opinion. Uh, and of course, you, there's nothing nice to show in terms of KF5. It's, it's just a nice story for developers to be able to know that. And for people who care about the process, to to know that KDE is working better with its upstream with Qt, uh, KDE is uh, creating software, the libraries that are can be used by non-KDE developers a lot easier um, because frameworks that have all been split up. 
um, and then talk about how the, the release packages are, are frameworks, Plasma, and applications. So we separated the desktop from the applications, from the libraries, uh, so that these are the, the main three aspects of KDE now. So can you repeat those three aspects so I can just type them down, please? Are uh, the frameworks, Plasma desktop, and applications. We should have a short uh, paragraph about this, so we know what to say exactly. Yeah. <coughs> Riddle. Wanna be our composer? The com what? Composer? composer? Yeah, to compose a paragraph, we can talk about this. We can uh, just read it. I'm guessing this unnamed person is actually Riddle. What unnamed person? In the pad. I just gave him a oh. name. I just gave him a name. Katie is now a community of friendly people and releases three main products. Because previously we were not a community of friendly people. <laughs> Previously, KDE was the product. KDE was the desktop that got released. But now we have grown to be more than desktop. So KDE is the people who are producing different bits of software. So KDE people. is now sentient. Yeah. KDE has become sentient. That's a good one. I like that one. <laughs> Wasn't there an article about KRunner being in artificial intelligent now? Remember... KD became sentient. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> we're going to put we're going to put KD in the self-driving cars. Yeah, uh, regarding that topic, uh, there there you have, if you've heard about Jupiter Broadcasting, those guys have a, a podcast about uh, Linux and open source uh, projects and they talked about how can you trust a company uh, with uh, a proprietary autopilot system on your car? How can you trust that car to drive you? <laughs> Since you don't know what's happening in that software, and if someone crashes, who are you going to blame? You trust Google Maps with, with your directions, and you can't look at everything on there. You, you, you trust Google Maps, but Google Maps gives you warnings that, okay, this is not 100% uh, accurate. <laughs> it's just that they can't be sued. Yeah, but too bad Apple didn't do that. <laughs> Turn left. Left is a wall. <laughs> left is off a bridge. <laughs> yeah. It's like that scene in the office. But the GPS says go forward, but forward is a lake. But I'm going forward, I'm listening to the GPS, and he went into the lake. Have when I was the driving office? There's one a time, TV show, The Office. The, the Google Maps was telling me to turn turn around to go on to this uh, expressway to go home. And the expressway was closed. So I'm like, that's not going to take me home. And just kept telling me to go that way. I'm like, no. Yeah, it's really amusing when I'm going one way and it only knows how to go through on that road. And if I might, I'm turning away from that road, it just gives me directions to turn back to that road. Are you supposed to get stamps in this thing or something? Uh, what are you talking about? Sorry, I'm, I'm just going through the book. The very pretty book. We have 70 plus applications covering awesomeness. Oh my god, well I'm dead. Medicaid does not cover healthcare costs outside the US. <laughs> so you're not allowed to die outside of US. No, I'm not allowed to try to use the inch to Medicare. <laughs> <laughs> then why do you have it? Parental child adoption? What? <laughs> it's on the U.S. passport. 
Oh yeah, uh, show it to Jonathan. If I don't know, have you told him that you got your password? For information, for information on prevention of international child abduction or help if your child has been taken, contact the Department of State's Office of Child Issues. Well, I just had to apply last week for a visa waiver, which is an awful lot like a visa to get to into America. Can you see it, Jonathan? I can see it. You exist. Yay. You now have an identity. You now oh, are someone. You know, uh, we have a Romanian expression. Someone, sh someone should take out the trash. You now are someone. You are now someone. Contact the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention via the International Travers Info Line for health and vaccinations. <coughs> <laughs> Avoid violating foreign laws, illegal drugs. Be mindful of security threats. Do not leave luggage unattended in public areas, nor accept packages from strangers. Is that a passport or a guideline how to travel outside of your country? <laughs> it's kind of both. Break sure with U.S. Embassy. <laughs> okay. Uh, so, we can just call it a night. At least it's night for me. <laughs> Do you have your UO Ubuntu Summit? Is that scheduled? Is there a time? Or is that still to be worked out? We are planning for some time on uh, Tuesday. T t no. Uh, I thought it was Thursday. Thursday, Thursday. Yeah, I always go get those mixed up. Okay, so we need to get... We should get uh, M. Perillo. There, there's a doodle, uh, Jonathan, on the uh, pad. Check out the links at the beginning of the pad. You'll see a doodle over there. Okay. You can vote. So we should get it publicized if, when the time is set. I think it's invite only. I think it's invite only that I have it currently set. Wait, what the... Oh, what... Oh, okay. I can set it to be, I think. Uh, you should set it to uh, whoever has the link. <coughs> hmm. Not everybody should have the link. Well, invite. I can invite participants or contact them. Reset admin link. Hmm. I don't know. If, I don't really see a button to do that. Mm, okay. There's a function over there that allows you to... Wait. Just open... Let me try this. Hmm. Yep, I can vote. You don't have to be logged in. It's public. Yay. I just copied the link in the incognito mode. So, and I can work. vote. Uh, do either of you have an opinion about a Kubuntu kickoff meeting for the next release? Mm -hmm. what meeting should we do it? When or what if? Um, what medium should we do it? We could do it as an Kubuntu summit meeting. We can do it as a mumble meeting, which we've done before. We can do it as an online meeting, or we cannot bother to do it. We should do it. Either way, we should do it. Release party? Sorry? I didn't understand the question. It's a kickoff meeting to plan the next uh, the next release. Oh, okay. Uh, sort out <coughs> the items on Trello. Uh, when's the deadline we can have it? No deadline. I mean, we make our own project, right? We do whatever we want. Yeah, I was thinking that maybe we can just uh, have it at Academy, but isn't that too late? It's yeah, halfway in the not for another three months, isn't it? Two. Yeah, it's halfway into the the cycle. Mm -hmm. However, it's not a bad idea. Do it in session. It's that's the purpose of the summit. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. 
I think if unless somebody's physically keen to organize it, that's that may well be the next best the best thing to do. At Academy? Yeah. Okay, uh, let's talk about this when I come back from my holiday. When's your holiday? What? When is your holiday? It starts uh, Wednesday and it ends Monday. Okay. And do you I'm know going to, to I'm going to be in the woods again. No signal, no internet, no electricity. Wow. What's that Actually, like? I'm going to have electricity. I'm going to have a car battery and LEDs. <laughs> So that's about as much electricity as I'm gonna get. I vote for using session the the summit but or mumble. By session summit, uh, do you mean like hangouts but or online summit? I don't know how that is, or maybe I do and I don't remember right now. No, I I vote for using the the cycle planning for the summit. I'm not sure how that goes, but okay. I I I don't really like uh, mumble because it's too impersonal. With Hangouts, at least or chat, you can tell exactly who's who's speaking. But on mumble, you just who's talking? Who's that? It has a speaker icon next to everyone's name. Yeah, you're right. But the video chatting is more personal because you can. Yeah, see I mean, you can see each other. You can screencast stuff it's, if it's necessary. And you can use hand movements. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I should go to bed. It's very late. I have to wake up early again in the morning. Can you tell me the status of the website, the video? Uh, status of the website is waiting for an answer for from the canonical sysadmins. Yeah, they, we, we are in freeze right now, and we're waiting for them. I'm asking them almost daily, what's the status, what's the status, and yeah. mostly I'm not getting any reply. <clears throat> so there's a reason why we were thinking about moving it away from canonical servers, and it's because they're pretty irresponsive or unresponsive. Um, the, so, we have an alternative. We can just move it to the WordPress.com and have it there. But uh, there we don't have uh, complete control. But th then again, we don't have complete control in, with Canonical either. Yeah. But uh, le let's have a different a different uh, meeting about that uh, because it's off topic for this hangout. Yes, it is. Let's go to bed. Okay. Yeah. Even Aaron. Aaron should go to bed. He looks tired. I have a clock here. It's <laughs> early. Okay. It's late, time late to there, yeah. <laughs> Okay. So I'm I'm gonna go to bed. It's late. Okay. So uh, Aaron, let's just add stuff and move stuff around in that pad until uh, Monday, Tuesday, and then we'll. Do a test run to see how it goes. All right. Remember to change your locate your locate to English. Yeah, I'll do that in the test run. <laughs> I'm, I'm trying to get used to it in Romanian so I can give support to people who don't uh, know English that well. And it's horrible for giving support to people who. Who are obsessed and they they are used to having it, everything in English because Windows did not provide Romanian at the beginning and the Romanian government doesn't give a crap. But anyway, off to bed for you. Okay, so good night, guys. I'm gonna end the transmission. Uh, to our any watchers, thanks for watching and uh, see you next time. Adios. Adios. Okay. Bye. Adiós.